What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of The Transfer Rumour. Today we have episode 14 and we are also including managers in today's episode with two confirmed ones um, and one potential one. So I'm looking forward to bringing them into this series. I just want to quickly set a like target for this video. I want to see if you guys are enjoying it and if I set a like target and you guys smash it, it means I know that you guys are really enjoying this series. If we can smash 25 likes on the video guys, that would be absolutely insane. So make sure to like it if you are enjoying this series so far. Also make, the comment, also, uh, make sure to comment down below if you're enjoying this series. We then go on to the first player guys, it's going to be Edison Cavani, of course at PSG at the moment. Hasn't really had the best career at PSG, of course being overshadowed by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's been moved to the kind of left wing role um, recently in recent years for PSG and I don't know if he's enjoying it as much as maybe he did at Napoli at the striker role. So I think he will be up for a move because he isn't doing great. I suppose he may get his chance this year at PSG considering Ibrahimovic has left, um, but I guess we'll never know. It looks as if Conte does want him. 50 million is quite a lot though for a player that hasn't really impressed. I'm going to give it a Burmah rating of 4. I'm not going to put it any lower because I feel like it is unlikely because of the amount of strikers Chelsea have. They've got 4 at the moment, um, but he could use him at left wing and stuff like that. And I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of 9 as it would be a decent transfer if Chelsea could pull this one off. We then go on to Jordan Ayew. Um, not had, not didn't have the greatest season at Aston Villa. He had a decent season, probably one of Aston Villa's better players, but what players at Aston Villa did actually have a good season in general. Um, he's been linked to Hamburg for £8 million. I can see him leaving just because of the fact that he might not want to play in the Championship, um, and all our clubs might be interested in him because he is a good talent. Rumour rating of 6 is what I'm going to give it. I think it's a bit it's a bit too early to say um, whether this is going to happen or not. I'm going to give it a 6 because I feel like that's just kind of putting it in the direction of it happening, but not actually full on saying it's going to happen. Um, and also a transfer rating of 9, as I think this would be quite a good deal for Hamburg. Um, they're going to get a quality striker, a young quality striker, if they do pull it off. We then go to Ryan Giggs, of course, was at Manchester United as a coach last season. I think he was the assistant was the assistant manager to Louis van Gaal. He was a manager before that, before they signed Louis van Gaal in the time period between David Moyes and Louis van Gaal. So, um... Yeah, he's got he's got not a lot of experience. That's the only reason I've given him a, um, a transfer rating of eight guys. I think if he did join Hull, um, he would be decent. He'd be de he wouldn't be amazing. I can't see him being a really world world class manager. Um, I think he'd be okay. He didn't have much experience, so as I've said, he was only the assistant manager at Man United. So that's the only reason I'm going to give it a transfer rating of eight. Also, a rumor rating of eight as well, as of course they need a new manager after Steve Bruce did um, resign last night. We then go on to Andre Schürrle. This was confirmed yesterday. He has joined Borussia Dortmund for 30 million euros, the most expensive player I believe they've ever purchased. Um, um, they've just bought Mario Gotze, they've bought some incredible players this summer, Dembele, uh, Guerrero, is it Guerrero or something like that, the left back, they've bought Road, they've bought um, just quality, quality players and it's, it'll be interesting to see how well they actually do last season, of course beating Man United 4-1 yesterday, absolutely destroying them, um, which I was glad to see, <laughs> we've got a rumour rating of 10 though, as of course this has one has been confirmed and also a transfer rating of 9 I think he'll do very very well of course he is playing left mid they might have to move him about a bit because of Royce um, they might try him out in maybe the right mid position try him out in our positions but it'll be interesting to see how he actually plays at Borussia Dortmund and if he can help them maybe even challenge Bayern Munich for the title under Ancelotti next season we then have so I, I knew about this guy a couple of years ago he was quite good in career mode actually um, when I used to play career mode and he was actually quite good in the ultimate team as well he his card does look pretty decent when you look at it. I thought he played for Fenerbahce, to be honest. He does have a Fenerbahce card, that I believe, in Ultimate Team. He plays for Al Hali. Al Ali. I don't know if he's in loan there. I think he might um, have been alone at Fenerbahce. And it looks as if Crystal Palace now want to get him on loan. I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 6, as it's kind of early stages. Um, but it looks like yeah, it might happen, but still as early stages. And we've got a transfer rating of 8. I think this will be a decent deal for them. And I think he'd do pretty well at Crystal Palace just in general. We then go on to Romelu Lukaku. Of course, I said there would be a second one. Um, Chelsea kind of striker signing thing in this episode and this is it 50 million for Lukaku it just seems too much he's not he's not worth 50 million in my opinion he was okay last season he kind of did well the first half of the season he kind of broke down the second half and didn't do it anywhere near as well I'm going to give it a rating of 2 I don't think they're going to sign back Lukaku uh, I just can't see it happening he is the, the only reason I gave Cavani was a 4 is because if he is signing him he can play Cavani in different positions it's not just striker with Lukaku you can only really play him at striker and that's why I put the rumor rating down because they don't need a striker they just don't they've got Diego Costa Batshuayi and um, of course Remy and Traore as well of course so I'm going to give it a transfer rating of 9, obviously, because it would be a decent signing, um, but I can't see them spending £50 million on another striker. We then go on to Buffal. A lot of you guys might know him. He's got a team of the season card this year, done very well in the league last season for Lille. 
He's been linked to Watford for 16.7 million. Apparently, there's massive clubs, Barcelona, um, even West Ham and stuff, like really big clubs are after him, and he's decided to move to Watford instead of teams like Barcelona. Fair play to him. Maybe he wants to um, kind of get himself more known in the map. I'm not too sure why he's doing it, um, but he has decided to do it. Maybe he wants some more game time. That's probably the main reason for it. I'm going to give it a rumor rating of 8. I can see this one happening. I think he will He will move. I don't know if it'll be to Watford, but I'm pretty sure he will um, move. But Watford seems as if they are kind of the main party in this and seem like they're the, the main ones that he could sign for. I'm going to also give it a transfer rating of 10. He looked very, very good. Um, I've not actually really watched him, but apparently he looks very, very, very good. A very good youngster. And it'll be interesting to see if he rips up the Premier League next season and maybe bangs in some goals and gets a few cheeky assists. So I'm looking forward to actually watching him next season as part of the Watford team. We then go on to another manager, of course, it's going to be David Moyes, his previous club, Rio Sociedad. Was he fired? I'm not too sure if he was fired from them. Of course, he was fired from Man United. Not sure if he got fired from Real Sociedad though. But he has just joined Sunderland um, on on a new on a is it three year? I don't know three year deal or something like that. I'm going to give it, of course, a room rating of 10. It has been confirmed. He has joined Sunderland after Big Sam, of course, um, did leave. And also a transfer rating of 9 as well as this. I think he'll actually do very well. Do a lot better than he did at Man United, in my opinion. He might even be close to what he did at Everton. Of course, he did very well at Everton. And I can see him doing roughly the same at Manchester, uh, at uh, Sunderland, sorry. So it'll be interesting to see if he can regain the form he had. And he doesn't kind of get brought down by all the media and the press putting pressure on him because of his last campaign um, in charge of Man. Manchester United so I hope he does well I hope he can keep them out of relegation as well as he is a world-class manager when he can actually perform so hopefully hopefully um, he can do that next season we then go on to Musa Sissoko of currently Newcastle but of course they just have been um, relegated to the championship it looks like a move could be on for Real Madrid the only thing is 40 to 50 million I'm not too sure if that's euros or pounds did a lot of research into this this was roughly the price I was I was hearing stuff 49 million here and stuff 40 you stuff 42, 46, um, so I'm not too sure exactly the price, so I'll put it at that. I'm going to give it a room rating of 6. I think he will leave, but it just seems too much. I would have put this higher if it wasn't 40 or 50 million. Will they want to pay that much on Sissoko? I'm really not too sure. And I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of 7, because if he did sign for Real Madrid, he probably wouldn't be a main starter, um, and that's why 40, 50 million does seem quite a lot, but... It could happen. Who, yeah, I suppose we never know. We then have Riyad Mahrez to Arsenal. I'm going to give this a rumour rating of 7. I'm just going to go straight out of the way with that. Apparently, they have... Um, like, this is apparently legit. They have sent a deal 42 million to Leicester it depends on if whether or not Leicester will accept the deal I don't know if they will considering they just like go oh, Kante well they went to let go of another one of their best players last season um I don't know 42 million though is quite a lot 42 million pounds that is 50 million euros a rumor rating of seven I, I think um it's a it's I've put it high up at seven because of course I I, I, I transfer deal could happen here they have sent the money over they have offered 42 million it'll just says it'll just be interesting to see whether or not Leicester do accept it I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of 10 of course any team Maharis goes to it'll be a very good deal for them we then a big Sam I know the picture looks pretty weird but um, it was one of the coolest ones I probably could find of course his previous club was Sunderland he's just joined England on um, a deal not too sure how many years the deal is probably between three and five years I would be thinking a rumor rating of 10 as it has been confirmed and I'm only giving it a, I'm only sorry gonna give it a transfer rating of seven and not I really don't really do any less than maybe eight or seven um but I, I just don't think it's the right thing I don't think it's the right manager that England need I don't think he's gonna do as well there as maybe some some critics and stuff have said I think he's a decent manager he's not he's not he's not a world world class manager he's not the kind of manager that can help England become um become bigger than the Premier League that is that is what he said the main problem was the Premier League is becoming bigger than the national team and that's something that he wants to sort out but I just can't see him doing it unfortunately but you never know maybe he can in fact do it we then go on to the final one of today's episode guys is going to be um <coughs> of course uh, Mario Gomez of well now Nobody, because he's just left Besiktas, he got married a couple of days ago in Munich, he has left Besiktas as he is worried about all the um, not terrorism, but all this stuff going on with the government and stuff like that at the moment, he said he doesn't want to be there next season, <coughs> so he has left the club, I'm not too sure if this means that Dortmund can get him for free, Dortmund are kind of the main ones linked with him at the moment, does this mean they can get him for free, I really don't know, um, they might still have to pay Besiktas something, but I'm thinking if he has left 
I'm not too sure if he's a free agent. I'm really not sure about this one, guys. It's just kind of happened in the last couple of hours, and um, maybe the last couple of days as well. I'm going to give it a room rating of 7. I think this could be a decent deal for Dortmund. He will, of course, be the backup striker to Aubameyang, unless Aubameyang goes. Um, but they have a really solid team. Probably one of the best teams in Europe next season. One of the best young teams in Europe next season, when you do look at the players they do have. A transfer rating, of, a room rating, of course, of 7 is pretty decent as well. Um, I feel... He, of course, he will move now that he's left Besiktas. Will well, it be Dortmund? No, I don't know because Bayern, he used to play for Bayern Munich. Of course, will he want to do that to his old club? Um, kind of as a traitor, I suppose some people would say. I don't know. I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of eight, guys. I think this would be quite a good deal for Dortmund if they could get a backup striker as good as Mario Gomez. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure to smash the like button. As I said, if we can get 25 likes, guys, that'd be absolutely insane. Subscribe, guys, as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.